great. It sounds like you've got a lot of activities planned Absolutely. and an extensive itinerary for your, for your trip to Gambia. Let's say I had a crystal ball and you could look forward into the future. What would you have liked to achieve with Football Gambia by the end of 2011? Well, I said before, I've brought a coach over who he coached 30 um, Gambian grassroots coaches and he coached the Division 1 and 2 coaches while he was over there. I still want to keep the momentum going, but I want to kind of intensify it a little bit more. So I want to bring over more coaches. Um, so instead of working with the 30, let's see if we can triple that by, by the end of 2011. Um, I also want to have another like a football tour, just like the fundraiser that I spoke about. Another one would be nice to have maybe two in a year as opposed to just having one. Um, I think it's going to be a, a great time. I know the guys are going to enjoy themselves. So that, that's one, another thing that I would like to keep as a, as a regular fundraiser. There's my um, favourite place in, in Gambia, uh, Sitanunku. I am now a, a citizen. It's, a, it's official. Of sitting in Kuhn. I've got a name over there as well. So I, I love the people in sitting in Kuhn, the village. So it would be nice to maybe help them with a, a skill centre or a nursery, but I have to do my uh, my checks in that respect. There's a, there's a lot of things, but it has to be self sufficient. So it's not just about just building and uh, getting the kids in there and stuff like that. You still have to pay teachers' wages and the kids have to have lunch and stuff like that. So, that's that's on the uh, that's on the radar. It's certainly on the on the horizon there. Okay, you mentioned earlier that it was difficult to set up a charity, but having done it, what advice would you give to somebody else looking to set up their own charity? Well, first of all, I'd say you need to do your research. It's really important because you don't want to have to do the same work as what someone else has done. Um, if you're working in anywhere in the world, you, you, trust takes time, and to build, you know respectable links takes time as well so if you've already got a charity out there that's already set up then there's possibly no reason for you to sell your own so oh that's that's what i would do first of all is um is do your research if your charity is that unique uh, and you just or you just want to set it up for yourself um, then go onto the charity commission's website there's loads of information on there about setting up quite a bit of information actually so if you do get um, you know, a bit bamboozled by all the PDF documents, there is a hotline on there as well, so you can give someone a call. Um, and, and all I'd say is, you know, if you're passionate about what you want to do, then just keep going. So I said, setting up the charity isn't just like, it's not, it's not easy. You know, it's not like buying a, buying a dog for Christmas. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, you've got that dog for life, so you, you really have to look after it, um, make your links, and you'll, you'll get through as long as you, as long as you persevere. If it's, if it's something that's out of your, you know, from your heart, then it will always, you'll always overcome anything. So. I think that's a great message to end on. So on that note, Ian, just like to wish you all the best of Football Gambia, and we look forward to hearing about its progress in 2011. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.